All right, any, any type of hay or straw can be used for this for construction, although um, the less um, roughage that's still on the, the straw stems, the better. So um, preferred is actually, is actually clean white straw, like oat straw, uh, barley straw. Um, that's going to be your, the best types to build with. The, what happens with the roughage is if it gets uh, wet or any kind of moisture in it at any time, it can mold, and you don't want that because it can spontaneous combust. So you always want to keep your straw dry and uh, protected from the rain um, or any kind of other moisture or, or um, uh, rodents, you know, and insects, that kind of thing from getting on it. Um, if you can prop it up off the ground, keep it stored up off the ground until you utilize it for building, that's also the best, you know, the optimum. Um, so I'm using um, this coastal. Um, I actually prefer a three-string um, that's uh, strung with poly, and this is actually a two-string with wire. Uh, the reasons are is that the wire through time can rest and separate, and you don't want your bales coming apart later, you know, down the road. So the poly is actually the, the stronger um, option as far as when they bale the, the, the straw. Um, and preferably three-string, although three-string is a little wider of a bale than two-string, um, it's, it's um, more optimum to build with. They're usually solid, more solid bales. And you can feel the, structural, the structuralness of the bale when you approach it. I mean, these here are not really that strong. Normally with really well-packed straw, you'll be, be, barely be able to stick your fingers into it. And this one, if I really tried, I could probably put my hand into it, which you don't want. So you want something that's really tightly baled, but this was... Um, um, all that I could find last minute. So that's one thing you really uh, have to look into before building a straw bale is um, preparing where you're going to purchase your straw. Make sure that the grower is um, ha has a reputation for good, clean straw and no problems, uh, that he has enough every year because things happen where you get in the list and then you, he doesn't grow enough straw and you can't build your home and you're put off for another season. So all those things are really important and, um, and matter. In some areas, there's only a few straw growers, and people will get on the list year after year until they, get, until they actually get their straw. So um, really think about, if you're serious about building a straw bale, really uh, prepare yourself and um, plan ahead on uh, which grower you're going to purchase your straw from.